Hey clan, and welcome back to Summer. When we last left off, we were chased around by a rather unhelpful gentleman uh, that we called Mr. Bubbles. Uh, we broke into his house, we essentially stole his car, we even uh, had a sip of his... Um... No, I think we're okay here. We even had a sip of his uh, structure gel uh, before we, you know, blew up his house and uh, stole his car and ended up here at Delta. So, we need to get to Theta. And uh, from Theta... Oh, hey, Bob. And from Theta, we need to go to Tau to find the Ark. But, let's keep exploring around here. Let's see what we have. We've got to realign a antenna dish, but let's check out all these buildings first. Oh, Bob. Let's go. I'm getting some frame rate issues as well, which is curious. Computer should easily be able to run this game. However, I am recording from the same hard drive that I'm playing this game from. Yes, yes. Mechanical drives. Remember those. Now, there must be a way in here somewhere. Aha! Yep, we're all locked up. Cheers, Bob. You're one of the good ones, matey. And trust me, uh, I don't think there's many good ones left. At least, there doesn't appear to be many good ones. That's some fine cut in there, matey. You gonna venture inside with me, or are you just gonna chill out there? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. See you on the other side, Bob. Oh, this area is not pressurized. Okay, that's fine. What do we have in here? We have a button. <gasps> a big, shiny, red button. Oh, hey, pal. Who are you? You saw that, right? You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit into them? What? That would be pretty bad. Yeah, I think I made it worse pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? Fuck. He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. Oh, to dear. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead. Remember? The Lumar Attic should work. It has to. Yeah. You go. I'm not going to make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn him. Come on. Shit. So Anders has gone a little bit crazy. What's he injecting people with? Is it structure gel? Oh, hey, Bob. I think it's structure gel. Um. Uh. Well, we're going to leave that depressed because uh, it was not depressed when we arrived. Computer systems are dead. Makes sense. Being, you know, underwater and all. Uh, you right there, Bob? Looks like you're glitching around, Bob. Well. Not much else in here. So what the hell did he inject you with? Huh. Oh, whatever it was, it was red. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. You uh, you got red on you. Oh, I've waited to say that for a long time. Okay. Well. Sucks to be you. I guess. So. We've been in two buildings. Is there any more? We've been in that one. Uh, Bob, there you are. You're doing a good job, Bob. Ah, nope, that was the crazy guy that uh, is all sixes and sevens, if you know what I mean. Ooh, hello. Have we been in here? We have not. This is a pressurized area. I... Did you move the Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. Yes. Um, oh, Bob. Bob and Mr. Crazy are having a chat. Well, they can chat. Okay, man. At least this area looks pressurized. There we go. Ah. This might actually be where we need to go. I'm not actually that sure. Um... There we go. Whoa! Is that 
eyeballs. They are eyeballs. Oh, did someone's head explode in here? Got a camera. And some pills. Alpha X. Well, the light is hurting my eyes. He's telling me I don't need this virtuous flesh inside my skull to see salvation. I will gladly remove them. Stop forcing from uh, obscurating this divine mission. Well, I, I guess this is where Anders spent his time. Ha! Huh. Anders, you crazy devil. What were you up to? My reflection in the black blood of our warden whispers. I need to save them from this hell. Let them sleep. Lock them in the lucid dreams that I have seen. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's blood and stuff coming from that one. Damn it, I want to look inside. Damn, you dick. I want to see what you've hidden in here. It sounds so squelchy. Oh, well. No, that's where he's been. He, but, 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 it, uh, mm, that's where he's been playing chess. He likes his photography. I think Anders might be a great. Get out of here. Anders might be a great guy. Oh, that's weird paper. It's exciting to watch the Wahoo claim Delta. Half a year ago, I'd be worried. I'd have Goya and Wan clean the bl uh, black blood from the machinery. Now its crusty surfaces seem to complement, even outshine what Delta was. So the black blood uh, structure gel, I guess. You cannot play. So no games have been won or lost here. Huh. Uh, he was definitely living here, though. Can we not smash that open or anything? Probably not with a can. Damn it, game! I want to see what lies within. <sighs> Never mind. Well, let's go back outside. Dick. How dare you keep secrets from me? God damn it. Well. I guess my curiosity will remain unsatisfied for now. No toilet in there. Oh, well, back in the black, Captain. Back in the black. Yeah, pressurize, please. There we go. Alright, Bob. Anders was a pretty crazy, crazy guy, Bob. Did you ever see this chap? He's, uh... Ooh. Nope, that's fine. He's a few spanners short of a toolbox, I would wager. Now, any more buildings to examine? Ooh. More dead machines. Now, this one looks interesting. Have we been in here? So this, uh... Wahoo thing. It, um... It does seem to be some kind of organic biomechanical gel fit doohickey, which is really interesting. Now, where's the antenna? The antenna was slightly... That's the Zeppelin transport, which is where we need to be, but we need to play with the antenna, which is that, I guess. Although it's not lit up. Uh, that doesn't look like an antenna. Still, let's see if we can go have a fiddle. You coming, Bob? There you are. Ugh. There we go. Come on. Come. Nope, I guess we're stuck. No matter. Well, it doesn't look like we can get on there very easily. Guessing that's not the antenna. I wish we had a portable map. Although this area isn't very complicated. 
Ah. That can't be the antenna. No, it's too small. That's what she said. Mm hmm. Well, we appear to have reached the edge. Right, so, um. What about this? This kind of looks like an antenna. Kind of. But not really. Now that is looking like an antenna. Hey, pal. You got plenty of room, mate. How the cheese and biscuits? Ah, control room. No, we've been in the control room. These look like some kind of repair facilities. Can we go inside there? Let's have a little look. Make way. Coming through. Ah, yeah, this is back here. Uh, more loading clamps, I guess. Assembly lines. Ooh. Lots of coral. Nice to see the coral uh, making a comeback. Now, we're kind of now leaving Delta. Come on, Bob. That is where we crash landed. That is not the antenna, is it? But there was a map in here. If we can find out where exactly that was. Everything should be gravy. Delicious gravy. I was going to say fish gravy, but then I almost made myself feel sick. Right, um, so we are here. That's the big loading platform. Com antenna is there. Okay. So, we've been in there. We've been in, I think we've been in all the rooms then. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, the comm antenna is literally just down there. Right, okay. Is there an easy way? No, we have to climb the ladder. Okay. So, it's possible that we've already looked at this uh, antenna and completely bypassed it. Because we're stupid. And of course, by me saying we're stupid, I mean I am stupid. So, this thing is... Ooh, hello. More dead machines. So, this thing... Kind of goes around in a circle like that. That's kind of curious. Now, where's the Zeppelin control? There's... Zeppelin control there. What's this? It's got a camera on it. Ah, is that a ladder? Might be a ladder. Let's have a. Yes, I guess. What? What? Down there? Careful, Simon. Careful. It's fine, mate. Well, uh, you dickhead. Are you trying to push me off, Bob? Consider your services under review, Bob. Hmm. So, this is possibly the antenna array. But it can't be, because there's no way up. Alright. Mm hmm. Right, this is the big square. So, the antenna array is here, I guess. Alright. Um, so, oh, there we go. That's deployed. Man, you can really tell when Astrid is off platform. This place turns into such a locker room. Not in a good way, either. Quite. Uh, link established. I don't know, man. I just say we can keep things classy even when women aren't around. You know? <laughs> no signal. 
Link established. Right. So that was channel two. Yeah, whatever you say, buddy. Right, link established. I'm guessing this is correct. Right, link established. So all of these now have established links. I don't know if they have to be specific ones. No signal. Um, right. So they've lost their channel. Uh, right, well, let's go have a look over here. That's interesting. Right, so Zep and let's have a look at the antenna. Alright. Okay. Ah, I see. So, Zeppelin 249. Zeppelin. Ah, right. Okay, 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 okay. So, which one do we need? So, that's. So two, uh, zero four nine is to theta, which is the yellow one, which is the one that we need. I'm assuming two four nine yellow. Right. Two four nine. Two four nine. Right. Forget it, acres. I'm not playing with oh, you. Oh acres. Chess is not necessarily boring, sir. Chess is a game of the mind. Um Transport active. Nice. Cargo. Uh let's get you coming, my friend. Oh, we're ready. Don't you worry about that. Hopefully we're not going to run into acres whilst we're waiting. Because, you know. Apparently he likes to inject people with his goo. And, yep. That sounds about as fucked up as... Uh... Ah, there we go. Yeah, that sounds just as fucked up in my head as... As it did out of my head. Uh, There we go. Uh, no shit, Simon. Now, what is that carrying? Oh, I see. It's like a underwater hot air balloon. Kind of. That's cool. Data buffer available. Very nice. Right, let's hear what happened. Okay. waves of Delta crashing against the shore had an undertow that pulls you into a slumber. Right. It's a beautiful thing. And I won't be selfish. I will help. Tuck them in. Watch them sleep. Uh-oh. They too will find peace within the universe of the WoW. Right. Right, you are, son. Right, one thing... Oh. Oh, fuck. He's alive. I mean, is that actually living? Can we not do anything with him? You're right there, buddy. 
Oh, that's disappointing. Was he the one that was injected with goo? Maybe. Let's try and call the other Zeppelins in. See if they have uh, information. So, we've got 842. See if they've got data buffers as well. <clears throat> or can we only have one doctor at a time? Alright, Sebastian. You just uh, out for a skull. Uh, let's go down. This is very curious. Did you move the outer shields? No, the same one, the yielder. Right, 216. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not technically a shield. Never mind, I found it. Yeah, he's batshit. He's very unstable. Uh, right, so 216. 216, 216. Uh, oh. Okay, well, I guess we can only have one at a time. Disappointing. I was hoping we could get some more story. Let's uh, actually, you know, go and get on board. Probably a, a good thing to do. I would take you with me, matey, but uh, I think you'd... you'd probably die. You probably wish to die, to be fair. Sadly, I can't help you. Calm down. We're safe. Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. <laughs> yeah. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure you can carry us. I do. Uh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Wonderful. Is the tool? Look who's been paying attention. We have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. <sighs> Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. That makes sense. Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips. The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's nope. just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. Um. Well. Whatever works. We got a weapon. Guess I have no choice. Nope. Can't feel sorry for these soulless machines, buddy. Hey, pal. Can I? Oh, I can't give you a zapping. Um, well, I don't really want to destroy you. Where's that? Where's that guy? There you are. You're right there, pal. Uh, time for you to sleep forever. Uh, what's happening is I am giving you the sweet release of death. Of course it hurts. You're dying. Is this thing empty? Um, oh, there we go. Alright, that was, that was kind of strange. Uh, right, give me that. Well, one way to find out, Simon. Well, that was painless for me and enjoyable. Shame that stun button was single use. That's the old one. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. We'd, we'd be stuck here. Yes, it's all good. Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fun. Yeah. Is he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there? <laughs> oh, 
sure. I love Cat. She's awesome. Uh, yeah, you know what? Try not to over overthink things, buddy. I mean, uh, that, uh, I overthink things all the time. And besides, he was kind of on the fritz anyway. Can't care for everybody. It's even easier not to when they're just machines, especially delirious machines. Well, yeah, I've I've found that quite easy, really. So, huh? Simon, you're a bit of a pup. We live in very uncertain times. We must destroy these machines. It's in their interest, to be honest. I love the uh, map change there. You can see the whole lighting model changed. Hmm. You don't say much, do you, Cap? You're really good back there, Simon. Oh. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the dun back, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. Yeah. Don't have to worry though, Four because kilometers. with the Dunbat, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. <laughs> what? Wow. Sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. No. So I found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Yeah. Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Cap, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. It's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? Well, it would have been nice for a little bit more than that, but uh, sure. Okay. You know, I may be speaking too soon, but this game is actually really relaxing to play. It's like, it doesn't really feel that much like a game, it feels more like um, some kind of visual novel. It's good. I'm enjoying it. Well, that's fragged. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, oh, no. Fragged. Ah, oh, Bob's gone. You remember Bob? Bob was fun. Bob didn't talk. So I'm assuming in Theta we're going to have new enemies. That's if that's how this works. Every area brings a new threat. Well, there's Theta. Kind of makes sense. Ooh. Hello. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? Is that a rough day? 
Still pointed by structure shrapnel. The lab turned in a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? It's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I guess the warden unit um, poisoned his mind somehow, reprogrammed him, ish, corrupted him. I believe would be the uh, the terminology, or some may say enlightened. I guess. Okay. And he moided everybody else. Bit of a dick thing to do, if you ask me, but. Uh... This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, if you are going to commit suicide, you know, do the good thing and flush yourself out. Ooh. Hello. Yeah, you could, uh, you know, flush yourself uh, out of an airlock. I don't understand. Uh, I don't really understand either, but uh, hey ho. Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass, Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. Ooh, do we have to unplug her? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. Huh. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. That's you kind of what I was saying. To survive you. you yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Where? What? Uh, pretty sure <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Like, it does. It's supposed to look like. Like, it wouldn't matter uh, if you died before you got switched on. Your 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 copy got switched on. I expected something different. Once you're dead, you're dead. You know, that, that's the thing about death. It's kind of final. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? No. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmire when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see any. Don't worry. You shall soon Robin. be at peace. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. 
Yeah, well, you completely just bottled that out, Simon. I'd be like, look, love, you're fucked. Get unplugged, you now. Good night. See you later. Will do. Uh, no, you won't. Let me know if you find anyone else. You good? I think so. I feel fine. Oh. So eventually we can stop talking to people. Maybe we should have done that. Um right. Well. Where is everyone? I'm not the only one who got scanned. Yeah. Um do we actually have to unplug her? I can't see how we would. Well, I guess we do. That's kind of like a weird Morality system. I can figure this out. That's a weird morality system in this game that could have actually been slightly better. I think. I think they could have given you the choice here whether you want to kill these people or not. Yeah, sorry about this. Yeah, well, enjoy your trip. That's okay. You weren't really alive. I guess you will uh, live again in the Ark or something. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Oh! Maybe I didn't have to kill her? Kind of hard. Um. Now we have to twizzle it this way. It's kind of strange. Manipulating these items. There we go. I'm going to look that up to see if you actually had to kill her. Why is that not going down? really not a fan of... I don't know, sometimes it works really well, but other times uh, the way you interact with things just doesn't really work very well. Wow, this is a, a serious duel. But I had that problem with amnesia as well. Damn, what are we getting ourselves into? Did we have... That's bugging me now. Did we have to kill Robin? Uh... Oh, she's got a button. I can't push the button. Oh, well. Surely you would just be able to turn these people back on again. Never mind. Can't worry about it too much. Right, so we have cameras. Oh, Omni tool. There we go. Boop. The Dunbat. Well, we made it, I guess. And now we're pressurizing. Okay, I thought we were going to go underwater. Lovely. Ah, oh, feels good to be dry again. I would assume. Um. Oh yeah, loading. I do you like these doors? Wow. Ooh. This is cool. Hello? Well. Anyone there? Yeah, best not to uh, run your mouth off, Simon. Well, Catherine, we found data. We did. It actually looks quite cool. Pathos 2 Theta. Oh, so the whole... The whole complex is Pathos 2. Okay. I got you. Now this looks cool. Why am I suddenly thinking of XCOM? Like terror from the deep. I'm going to run into some Aquanauts. Maybe some uh, Aquatoids. Maybe even some lobster men. That'd be horrific. 
Especially if you're not packing your vibro blade. Right, hang on. Can we smash that open? Uh, are you heavy? Um, no, you are a wet floor sign. But... I guess that's what we do. There we are. Right. Knock, knock, motherfuckers. Yep. This is our new home for the next year. Can we... This place is dead. Completely dead. We need to find somewhere to get some power. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Cool. Alright, we've got a place for our Omni tool. Shit ton of post it notes. Oh. Squeeze me. Yep, it's gone now. What is that? I have no idea, but it's got a weird effect on it. Oh well. Alright, let's uh, stop overlooking the elephant in the room. We're here? We're here. Yes. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys yes. have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. Famous last words. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. Yes, if pressure. This kind, then how did they get the ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant slightly. temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend, it's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic. Uh, Exciting. It feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat. Um... Damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. Yes. It's... It's quarantined. Uh-oh. Hold on. Well, that's not We need a security good. cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe uh -oh. someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Yeah. Hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Excellent. Well... Let's hope you haven't let something terrifying out. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Mm-hmm. Find someone who knows the security cipher. And we're just we're just going to assume someone someone's still alive? Yes, 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 yes. I'm off. I'm off. God's sakes. Uh oh, lights. I guess the Jenny's still working after all. Alright, cool. Okay, so, no threats so far. And I do mean so far. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, inviting. Uh, so, creepy corridor. Or creepy corridor. Well, let's go with creepy corridor. Now this is like something from aliens. What happened to all the people? This place looks deserted. So far. It doesn't make oh. any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Yeah, well. Uh I guess something is surviving around here. At least Kat, you're with us in spirit. Yeah. Well, let's do this room by room, as if there's any other way. What a sweet F all in here. Where the 
hell did they all go? Well, I'm sure yeah, we're so going to find you out. Probably Lambda or Omaha? You've seen Lambda already. Huh. Well. Guess TV's out of action. Hey, these things. Good for building strength in your hands. Uh, what have we got here? Very old photos. Very old photos. Ooh. Got some dumbbells. Ooh, actually. Yeah, it looks like they locked this place down. Well, that's inviting. Hmm. Where find anyone? Yeah. We all helped out with the ark. Right, sure, one second, guys. And we're back. That seems excessive, but not out of the question. I see. So, lots of rooms. Lots of rooms. Well, let's start here. Oh, you're locked. Oh, you're locked. Why do I get the feeling that uh, by recklessly opening all of these doors, we're going to let something out sooner or later? Ah. Oh. We can actually see ourselves. How cool is that? So... We do have like a camera some kind of AI system inside us at least. Is it the same on this one too? And we can actually hear the machine were. That's well to be fair, at least we've kept our original form. It could have been worse. There's the showers. So, you know. Can we... I guess we can't get any water out of that one. Or... That one. Oh well. No shower for us, I guess. Uh, oh. Have some deodorants. Some toothpaste. Very big toothpaste and deodorants. To be fair. Oh, pills. These pills. Can we take some pills? Nope. More deodorants. And what is that all the way at the top? We can actually jump quite high as well, but then I suppose that's to be expected with us being a soulish machine and everything. Thought the lights were going to go then. I was like, yeah, man. Ooh. Um. Right. So. Either there was an explosion, which there is no evidence of such, or something tried to tear its way out. I guess this is female toilets. We're going to get the same thing. Hmm. I keep expecting something to uh, jump out at us. I'm glad the game's not being that predictable. Nothing down there. Toilet. Toilet. Really? Not one corpse. Not one corpse. I settle for a walking corpse right about now. Okay, well, I guess not. Well, Remember when we had lights? Oh, good. Well, that's great. Well, it looks like the warden unit's kind of uh, gone crazy. Uh, Guy Conrad, what? Why are you locked? Hello? Mr. Guy? You, uh, you okay? You know how to be seen. Huh. Oh, that's neat and tidy. 
Um, tool safety, that seems... Electrical hazard, don't look into emitter. Emitter and battery are hot. Microwave radiation, ooh. Hmm. Tech ref. Some kind of engineer then, I guess. Ooh. Damn it. Alcoholic, maybe? No, he's only got one bottle. Ah. Not pictured the apocalypse. Oh, wow. Look at that. Cool stuff. Right, let's get this out of the way so we don't fall into it. Nadine. Maggie. Brandon. Ah, Catherine. Oh! It's Catherine's room. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring yep. something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. So, let's have a little look in your room. You have nothing in your bin. Eh. Could have been worse, I suppose. Ah. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Well, that's for me... Well, you to know, and for me to find out. Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Yeah, he looks quite top heavy. All right, anything useful in here? Journal. <clears throat> Don't mind me. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by the Wow. But more importantly, it was assembled in seemingly a primitive way. In a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for WoW to, sit, uh, to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded in. Oh, loaded as a simulation inside digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the uh, vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that the Wild copied my capsule projection to construct the uh, scene to hold Reed, hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point. Where my capsule houses a flat flat people constructed from uh, model neurographs, the Varium's brain scan lives on. Hmm. It isn't limited by its content. Uh, from the origi originating brain scan, read emerged. The read inside the Varium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathios 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivium, but I can replicate uh, the Wu's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was easy. easy uh, it was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspected the while has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the mockingbirds. The while must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used that as a basis for intelligence in the machines. Okay, with a surprising. Uh, with a surprisingly positive reaction from the team. We now have officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people that we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think that something will live on like that. Mark killed himself after the scan. He's been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the ARC. I'm really not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments amongst the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Uh, Strumiger is not happy with me. I hope it will calm down. Hmm. Oh, hell. AR capsule. 
Richard gave me a set of AR templates I haven't seen before. Uh, unfolded one of them to make a new friend for the capsule Catherine for capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies uh, new way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better implemented read didn't go well new try with read read won't play nicely with the others she is too real hmm intriguing Shouldn't really do this. Ooh, a hairbrush. What is this? Yeah, I guess she does. And not those kind of toys, you pervert. Can I smash this? No. the hell is that? Oh, it's a sock. A roll of socks, actually. Um, what have we got here? T-shirts, I guess. Books. Schematics. Lots of exercise equipment down here in all these areas, which kind of makes sense. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to leave this here because we're almost on an hour. So, when we return, we're going to continue exploring this area. Um, I was kind of hoping that there'll be more here in her room. Little Easter eggs. But uh, never mind. I'm sure we shall find other people's rooms to explore. What's that? That's a hat. That can't be a hat. Or was that it hit the toy? Oh, we have more, more drawers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, before we end... Really? Oh, we've got some scissors. Don't really need to play with those. The hell is that? Stop cell. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Post-its. Oh, a fan. Very nice. And empty. Oh, well. Right. Yes. So that was actually really interesting. That's one thing I do like about this engine. The fact that you can rummage through drawers and, and all sorts of shit. And uh, it, it, everything's so realistic. And it really does lead... Ooh. Lead to a believable. Huh? Oh, you mean? Well. Yeah, it's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's, it, it, it's a long story. Forget it. Well, I don't want to forget it. I want you to tell me about it. Oh, that probably means it ain't gonna work now. It sparks when it hits the floor. Kind of. Let's try that again. Yeah, well, it's definitely broken now. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. When we come back, we're going to explore the rest of this facility. Till then, guys.